Welcome to Table Talk with Nikki G and Juliet, where we bring to you highlights of entrepreneurs, leaders, organizations, and much more. A broad spectrum of professionals, including chefs, artists, designers, musicians, and more. I've been so blessed today. I don't want to live like yesterday. So please don't stop my time. Our show is a new brand of talk shows where we educate, bring transparency, and last but not least, fun. Bye. Table talk. Table talk. If I tell you, say I love. Hi everyone, welcome to Table Talk. Um, by now you've gotten used to Nikki G and Juliet on Table Talk, and we're super excited that you've been viewing our channel, which is Table Talk Show. NJ and the NJ stands for Nikki G and Juliet. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> so this is our Fourth of July special, hence the red and the white and you know all those little and colors. The blue. And stuff. So this yeah. is our Fourth of July special. We actually had Mandela Links, who's from Grenada. Yeah, he's from Grenada, and he has so much to tell us. You know, as an artist. He is our very first artist that we interviewed, right? Yes. Everyone definitely. else. Was... I mean, you can't count. You, I mean, Demarie was an actual painter. So painter, he right. He was an artist, but, but a painter. Yeah. yeah. So he was our first artist. And oh my God, he is amazing. He's amazing. He can think of lyrics just like that. You give him a topic. Did you know that? You give him a topic and he, he comes up with something. Um, vital it's like his brain just clicks into place off the top of his head it's, it's yeah. amazing you know I mean I think it's just like Demarie when we interviewed her and she said when she looks at something or places she wants to be or things she wants to do off the top of her head she does the artwork right yes 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 she has to see it and then she starts saying oh I want to yeah. be that I yeah. want to look like that and she just draws it yeah I guess, I guess that that's how the talent comes. I guess it's, if it's your gift, it's your gift. Yeah. I just wish I had a gift like that. <laughs> you have a gift. This, this lady has gifts. You know what? We all, we all have gifts. We, we do. Gifts. But I, I, I want to be able to say I have this genius of a memory and I can just, I can just think of things. And man, could you imagine when you, if you had a, a brain that just clicks and remembers every single thing? I well, we have that. friends like that. We do we have do. friends like that. And yes, they're gonna do. come on the show soon, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, I've got a friend, um, Amari, who, when he starts quoting the Bible verses, it's impossible to know this the amount of verses he does. But he just, you pick a subject and you want to know about uh, money, he'll come up with the subject just like that. You you mm -hmm. say spiritual warfare, boom. Yeah. He's got the scripture and he's and he knows it. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's so crazy. Yeah. But um, it's it's just people and their talents. But talking about talents, I gotta say, guys, my brother, Leon, in Manchester, England, just completed the Ironman Marathon. Now they did it. I know, right? Yeah, here. Yeah. Let's take a second. Leon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's my definite biological brother from my, my dad's side. And um, he just completed the Iron Man. It was a charity event. And I'm going to definitely have him on there because I just think that's the man of steel right there. You should see his muscles. Ladies, he's already taken, he's married, but the muscles is bulging all up. It's like she's dangling a piece of meat in front of you. It's like, no, let's take it. <laughs> Yes, he's 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 just amazing. He did the cycling, the running, the swimming. And if you know anything about England, England ain't warm like like we are up here. We're boiling, but it's cold. And imagine I could not go in no one's sea, and it's cold. I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. Put my toe in, come back out, and say next week. <laughs> <laughs> But he did that and we're definitely going to have him on the show because I want him to come on and, you know, talk about the charity and talk about how it was and what he had to go through because he trained for a long time, but he did it. Yeah. So I just yeah. wanted to do that quick big up, big it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we, yeah, we have some, we have some amazing guests. I mean, 
it, it, it's just super amazing, you know? Um, yeah. Hopefully you go back, you go to YouTube, well, you're on YouTube now, but you go to our previous shows and look at them. Each and every one of them are super yeah. talented and very important. And they have a lot to offer. And let's say if you're into, you know, you're an artist or um, by painting or you're a singer or you're a business person, each one of them has something to, 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 to give you, you know, mm -hmm. as well as when we started this, we said we were doing it because, you know, through the pandemic, people are doing so many things, including our show, which yeah. is them, and why we started. So we want to show you behind the scenes, well, not behind the scenes, behind the scenes, but just behind the scenes of what people are doing now and how they're elevating and making this pandemic something that's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I've said it before, I've said it so many times that people, we're changing, we're evolving, the, the, our careers are changing and evolving as well. I don't think even when take away COVID and let's just pretend it disappears tomorrow, which, you know, I, I'm very prayerful that it does go like that. But let's just take away, you know, COVID has just opened up the world to so many things and so many talents are coming out of it. Um, I actually know a girl who makes, she just started, she makes hair, hair oil for your hair. And, and she tried it, I guess, on her mom. And her mom's hair grew like wildfire. I mean, she, she, she had her sides off like mine. If you ever see her mom's hair. Now, of course, you're going to say to me, well, what about her hair, her texture of her hair? It's going to grow really quick, right? <laughs> but let me tell you, no, she got regular, regular. You know, I, I need some that. of that. But exactly. So I want her on the show. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get her on the show. But anyway, but minus that, we've got so much to bring to you it's so, so much oh my god yeah and so much talent so much so much energy the yeah. positivity out of all of this is just amazing and we have to bring it forward Wait, we have oh. to my phone was ringing right in between them but it's fine we don't <laughs> have to like stop or anything like that i'm just gonna leave it but yeah yeah let me just take this off this is like an interview, you know, when you're, you're on an interview and then your phone goes off. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, look, technology has, has opened up as well. Um, I don't know about you, but my internet is running like, like wildfire. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. It, 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 it didn't. It kept, yeah, it was, it was glitching, messing up. They changed something on it the other day and it's going like wildfire woof, mm. speed of light i can download a movie in seconds what oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty dope that's pretty good but yeah i mean there's so much going on around us there's a new strain of covid you know now i didn't even know it was 50 percent. how about i don't even watch it <laughs> well, I, I've, really, I've really signed off on all of that because I think it does something to me mentally it does yeah and so sometimes sometimes when you're listening to all the information that they're giving on on the vaccine on covid on the new variant on all these different things right it just makes you it makes you really really it messes up your your mind if you if you really you can get sucked in yeah. and and only concentrate on the fear factor of it all yeah. and so what i did through the pandemic is i i just didn't watch it i i stopped in the beginning looking and I stopped at the looking. bad news yeah i just wanted i wanted only positive energy coming towards yeah. me because the 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 fear factor was really killing a lot of us in our, in, yeah. in our minds the mental I think that's why I like our show too, because it's not negative and it's about the positive and giving people something like a breath of fresh air instead yeah. of just being about negative things, you know? But yeah. I mean, as I was saying, there's a lot of things going on in the yeah. news. I mean, people are getting over this now. This year has been, a, I think, way better than last year, of course, oh, yeah. because of what oh, yeah. happened, you know? And now that they're talking about this new strain, um, you, it's like, it gives you the jitters, but at the same time, because of what we went through, I think mm -hmm. it's gonna help people 
you know, get over this hump as long as it's not as bad as last year. You know, yeah. you in know, other words, they're not them. dying. They're not yeah. dying now. They're just getting sick, but they're getting over it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's what we want to know. People are dying in the droves and I don't want to make it be like. Ugh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I just want to, you know, I mean, we're getting better. We're coming through this where the world is coming through this. At least I hope. That, that we are and, and, yes. and we're moving faster so let's just say everybody is going back to work and they're opening up London is opening up they're opening everything they're going to remove all bands all masks everything yes. I can't see us doing it but but I mean over here over here I just heard them say that anybody who got vaccinated they don't have to wear masks but in the instance where you are among a lot of people then they yeah. will require you, they'll ask you to wear a mask and still be safe. You know, yeah. now Trinidad yeah. is a, is a, is, is major now because they were closed for a while, right? Mm -hmm. They were on lockdown for like, I think it was at least three months. And wow. now they're opening back up fully yeah. and accepting, um, they're accepting flights, you know? Yeah. So that's a humongous sheet, but it's how much they're charging for flights they're trying to make back their money i don't I blame know. them but we can't afford to go home <laughs> it's because if you go home now it's like you have to pay for hotel yeah and, and you have to pay for these expensive flights that i think the price is like i think it's 800 one way it might be even more than that because sometimes for carnival it's like around that you know oh okay, okay. yeah so anyway tracking back to the 4th of July and our show and everything like that. Um, Mandela links graced our show. We were in Central Park. Yeah. It was a breath of fresh air. We weren't on, on, you know, Zoom. We get to see each other and stuff like that. And yeah. it was, you know, so I hope. Was, yeah, and he, let's not forget, he bought his little artist. He bought an artist along with him, Squeaky D. Right, so you're going to see him. You're going to interview him, a short interview with him. But it's a short one, yeah. yeah. But he was, there were such lovely guys and the dynamics between the two is amazing. You have to see it. So please, you guys keep it locked. Because guess what's coming next? Nikki, introduce it. Introduce it. <laughs> Mandela Links from Grenada. And you'll see us in Central Park, as I said. And it's coming very soon. Okay? Check the link here. Make sure and subscribe. Look at our information below. We'll also have the artist information so you'll be able to contact them if you have any shows. All right? So check this yeah. and we'll see you again. Look, look, look. Table talk with Nikki G and Juliet. Table talk, table talk, table talk. <laughs> Today we're here with Mandela Lynx. Mandela Lynx came all the way from Grenada. Yay. And he's visiting us in New York. So Mandela Lynx, welcome. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, to welcome to Table, table talk. talk. This is Table Talk with Nikki G and Juliet. And Juliet. We're all the visors, so you know, I actually feel a great energy already, you know. Trust me, it's a blessing being here, I and mean, it's a pleasure you guys having me here, you know, and I love the vibes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you heard it first. I love the vibes. <laughs> so how has it been? I mean, how has it been since you came here? What have you done? I know you're well, on tour. I mean, since I've been been here, I mean, I've been doing a lot. I don't want to have you sitting down. No, no, that's all right. That's You're good. That's all right. Okay, I'm going to sit down because I'm like... And, and also look at the camera. We, we, we're going to flex it. We're going to flex it. We're going to put a little Caribbean vibe with a little American vibe. Yeah. So actually, um, I mean, being here for the short while has been great. I've been doing a lot of shows, you know. Um, I've been shelling up the place, as we say in Grenada, and I've been mashing up the place, you know. Yeah, I've been doing that, you know. I've been putting a lot of work in terms of the music, too, you know. Recording a lot of new tunes, you know. Actually, I have like seven songs out for this year. I got like, presently I have about 70 to come. Seven zero? Seven zero, yeah. What? I've been working constantly, you know what I mean? I'm working inside a lot. Yeah, young artists as well. My good friend Squeaky D, the artist. Very, 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 um, you know, talented young man, you know. So we'll bring him on after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After. You know, I've, I've been doing some work with him too, and you know, I'm bringing him, making him hit, hit the stage with me, you know what I mean? With the big artists, the Iowa, the Farmanapi, you know, you know, all those guys, you know, because um, 
I mean, that's what music is about, you know. We all got a super chip. If I got that super from before, I would have been way ahead than now, you know what I mean? So, right. I mean, I've been, I've been doing what I have to do in, in terms of to keep the culture up. Not only my culture, but, you know, Caribbean culture and a whole. Because at the end of the day, soca music is, is about Caribbean people. It's about love. That's it's true. about friendliness, togetherness, you know, family vibe. That's what it's about. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take it back a few years when you first started, like, you know, a few of us, let's say when we now getting to know you. Yeah. So how did, before you were Mandela, who were you and what made you who you are now? Well, actually, I was, I was the only person that I am, you know, always humble, cool, uh, like a lot of elder people are uh, always around elder people, you know, people like 50, 40, you know, that was at my age. At 10? Uh, at little, little, little. <laughs> at young, like, since I was like five. <laughs> Ella people are always be around, you know. Yeah. I, my, my first song I wrote was I was, I was about five years old. Wow. Called mm -hmm. Nice Little Ducky with a guy named Guy Fox, you know, mm -hmm. he helped me. Um, then, I mean, I used to always be, used to bring me a lot of events, you know, like that time we call it Blocko. With the DJ and stuff. And yeah, Blocko, I know so Blocko. Is, we go yeah. to, I go to, used to touch the mic, like a boy touching the mic and Blocko, you know, freestyling and people getting on bad, you know what I mean? <laughs> I young in experience, but he was actually teaching me along the way, you know. He used to bring me little boy shooting class and all of that stuff, oh, you know. Nice, nice. He was always there to support me. Then in 2000, actually, I sang my first reggae song, you know. The name of it was Stop All the Fighting. Then I used to go around with Big Jeno. You know, this is the baby killer cousin. He took me around on, on weekends. He used to bring me right around the island. Stop mm -hmm. in a bar, they sing, they stop, they sing, they sing, they, you know. I used to really enjoy it, you know, because I love I used to change my voice like tall, you know, times, you know. You murderer! <laughs> you know, you know, and then I give you a little super pee. I don't know, that's when you're from more. Just give me a little wine, you know, you know, brother be, whoa, yeah, 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 I'm missing nice. You know, super pee, brother be all of them, you know. Everyone. I used to mix up my voice like everybody, you know, get like vibes. Mm. And then we started to do, sing with a, well, mainly we, we named ourselves Project Two. So both of us started to sing. Mm -hmm. But then the next year, that was in 2011, 2012. I went on my own. You see, Mandela, it's time for you to go on your own, you know. So, uh, mm. so I continued singing in 13. I make, made this semi as in 2014 for the first time, you know, in Groovy, right? In 2000, no, sorry. So when you, when you, just to, just to retract, um, when you say Groovy, some people don't know what Groovy is. Groovy. And we're talking to Americans. Yeah, and okay. Cultures, so, so Groovy is actually the slower version to Soka, the pump up Soka. You know, for example, Baby Killer, Pick up something, you know, run yeah. with it and stuff. Yeah. Tombstone is a groovy. When I did boot job, groovy is like I'm 125 to 130 BPM. You know, that's we class that as groovy in, 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 in the Caribbean, you know? So so that kind of slow music, you know, I started to sing those kind of slow music. But then they was not really paying much mind to me there. So I started to do a little power soca now and then, you know. And then actually 2015 I made the semi-finals, right? Um, 2016. 2000, actually, I made the semifinals in 2015, and I won the first award for the you big, were young. the big, yeah, the biggest reggae song. Yeah, the biggest reggae song, Grenada. You know, some they did for, did from my England branch people that did it, right? I won that award. Then 2016, I made the groupie won up finals for the first time, and I came second. Shell on the stadium. <laughs> the stadium was shaking, like shaking. People from on the outside was rushing to come in. <laughs> when, when that tune called power. When the power hit me, le 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 le, it just captivated me, le 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 le. I can't control that feeling, le 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 le. That music, oh gosh, is the healing. Ah, I mean, when the power of the music hit me, you know, you know, the Caribbean people, when the when the soca, the, the vibes, and the drums and the rhythm hit us, our African people, you know, you can't you know, stop, we can't yeah. stop moving. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so I hit them in 2016 with that. 2017, I came with a song called Richness. Richness actually was the f uh, that made me the first um, Grenadian artist to be nominated in the Pan American Song Contest. Mm -hmm. I was going up against people who is mo in movies who have who sing, and they were like 40 something million views, and I was like 1,000 views <laughs> on my song. I was like, how oh, did I get nominated in that? But the song was kind of deep, was deep. My richness is life, you know. Mm -hmm. And actually, coming to into like. To reality, because I mean, look what happened with the COVID. Almost people have yeah. died, you know, yeah. friends, family, you know, you know, made us so rest in peace, you know. But um, I hit in 2017, 2018, I came with Tombstone, but Tombstone was there since 2016, but I didn't release it until 2018. Then it started shaking the whole world like crazy, you know. I was doing a video 
we do me and my kids black up and you know start to do all the things. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Before you <laughs> before you go so far, I wanna know because in my mind it's like this little boy and he's you know, you I guess you started from ten, then you come all the way up. Yeah. Right? Am I from correct? Five. From, that is from five. five yeah. Okay. So what about your parents? Like you going around with these older men and mm-hmm. and okay, stuff like that. Said, yeah, yeah, were your parents yeah. okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. My, my mom and them was okay. My mom they like music, you know. So Guy Fox was like family to me, you know. Uh, Big J, Big J come like family when he came came down at the Divine Saint David. He was from um, up both um, Saint John side, but when he came down, you know, and we get to meet each other. I used to go play cricket on Sunday. I used to all be on the bigger guys, right. you know. What I mean, I, I couldn't go and sit on the table and play down, you know, with them at that time. But I was there, yeah. you know. I couldn't drink alcohol or smoke and stuff. But the influence but the was influence music, was music yeah. and positive vibes, you know, teach me how to go about living my life because I mean, th- I thank God for them because I never been to prison before, never made a cell, I never I end up in problem with, with police officers, nothing. So I'm clean slip, yeah, you know. They yeah. taught me, you know, so that I can be a better individual, you know. So That's I give great. thanks to so. this is why I love being around them. So by being around them, you no, know, my mom didn't have to worry. You know, I never was in no fight, no gang, no nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So she liked that. So then I put up going, Guy Fox, anyway Guy Fox going. I didn't Guy Fox food like a shoes. <laughs> you know what I mean? I could have going in my way good, you know. So actually I used to enjoy it. I used to enjoy it and the experience and Guy Fox had me real tough. You know, he used to in one of the part things he used to do to make me strong, it may sound funny, but it, it worked. He used to make me climb. He don't tell me climb that tree. So I had to climb the tree and he used to say, you could go in the end of the branch and pick that breath or whatever. And I used to be like, I can't do it. Really? He say, yeah, he used to say, you have to do it. You cannot come down unless you do it. So, so build me confidence. Build me confidence. He build me confidence. So, and that is the same thing with the music. When I go on stage, I never really remember myself getting scared to go on the stage. And I was always anxious. I, I get so carried away on the stage. Like when I go to, on the stage to perform, after that time, I don't see nobody in front of me. Mm. I like blank. focus. I'm gone yeah. in a different zone. Yeah. Um, well, now that we've just gone through um, a big pandemic, yeah. and you're here and you're doing all these different shows, um, how has the pandemic kind of affected your life coming up to this moment now? The pandemic <laughs> was, was actually a, a positive, had a positive in, impact hey, on me. You know? I don't yeah. Come on. You know, you can you can run for her if you want. Yeah, please do. <laughs> don't, don't don't go too close, then. Yeah, actually the pandemic had a, a, a positive influence on me because, um, you know, at that time, I get to spend more time with my family. I get to spend more time with my friends, you know. We get to appreciate life more, what life is truly about. We should, you know, show love and support to each other, you know. Because before the pandemic, if you look, family has been breaking up. You know, friends have been breaking up. But that makes people to value their own, what they got, you know, the people that love them, the people that support them, you know. And I mean, I get to spend more time with my kids, you know, and I know, and that was good. I could have called someone and say, Oh, I'm going through a hard time. Yeah, they say you're going through a hard time. I get to talk to them, you know, yeah. motivate them, and I get to spend real time with my music. That's what I, I would like. just keep building music, like. Feeling like writing. as fast as the thing goes, I don't, yeah. I don't write. She don't write. Okay. I Everything see. is up here. Okay. I see. Uh-huh. I see. And I will just go to the mic. Somebody send me a rhythm, and I just go behind the mic. My eye close, and I just singing a whole song. Easy. Mm. I just oh, wow. know, unfolding like a pack of cards. You know. Wow. I see it because music is vision. You have to be seeing what you give. Why, why you trying to? You're supposed to be telling a story. You can listen to all my songs. It's a story. You have to be telling a story to the people. Yeah. You know, it's not just about. You can't just be singing about. I'm here in the park. And next thing you sing about, you digging a hole somewhere. You know. So you remember yeah. everything word for word, yeah. no matter how many years, how many you, years you sing, you thought about it. Yeah, I just it just, stays in your just mind. Just All my songs, I don't wow. forget them. They just come from the first time I started singing. Everything they just come with it, it always days because I use actually photographic memory. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. that's oh what I yeah. yeah, yeah. It's okay. very, it's very interesting. Yeah, because like when when I went to like to school, my math teacher used to make me. He just say, man, tell us some. And every say, just picture it up there. It, it, it not on the board, nothing, but we I, we saw the picture it in the air, you know, like it's there. Yeah. You know, and then walk out the song. You check? And then I was so good at that. He used to leave and go and do his class in college. And he said, let me two weeks, I take care of the class. I teach in the class. You check? Oh. Yes. So when he says sum, <laughs> sum is mathematics. Yes. Yeah. Or arithmetic. S U M. However, S U M. Or sums. That's what he's talking about. Like yeah, yeah. Wow. So smart as well as talented. Yeah, so the pandemic actually built me in a positive way and it helped me to build others. You know, because you never know in life who's looking, you know. That's true. Sometimes we take things for granted, we take life for granted, you know. 
I mean, a lot of people dropped off on the way. But then, if I if I lost someone in, for example, in the pandemic, then you know how much it hurt me. The same way, if someone lost some someone, they need someone to talk to. You know, you never know what people is going through unless you give them. That gives me more time to speak to people. You know, to reach out to people. Yeah. Say hi. How are you doing? Because it doesn't take anything away from Much taking time, one second yeah. to say hi. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you? Sometimes so all true. what someone needs is that. And yeah. I use that time the pandemic to share all the love that I can. I don't yeah. have one, I don't, I'm, I'm, as, I, as I told you yesterday, I don't have one message on Instagram pending. Neither on Facebook. I answer all my messages constantly, whether day or night. I tell people to call me any time of the night, any time of the day. I'm available. You understand? Nice, and nice. music is, music is, we, as artists speak for the people that cannot speak for themselves That's right. so i take that time now in, in in the pandemic to build songs like i hear the cries of the ghetto you know mm. those kind of songs and then that could motivate people and say you know what man i'm not giving up man i'm gonna keep on going you know right yeah. right can we can we get a little acapella of that song that, that you're saying that. That you just I the, the okay i hear the cries of the ghetto and i hear the voice and them echo I don't know why we should live like that. But Father God is just hurt my heart. Why people get so bitter? They don't care about each other. Playing a blame game, celebrating the next man fall. Innocent people getting hurt. We forget what life is worth. Lift your head up to the sky. Cause I know you hear the cry. Yeah. I hear the cries that you get to. You know, stop ignoring nice. it. I can, I can nice. even hear the drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, it's drums they got. I can, yeah, yeah. I can hear the drums. Yeah. Like a, a, a Baptist type yeah, thing. That, that's what, actually, that is exactly what they have in it. Yeah. 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 Nice. So it's like that, you know. Mm. But um, I, you know, I give God thanks for that experience. Yeah. You know? So that's why, I mean, just to get you, give you a gist of what we do, right? Because I know you were asking. So um, it's more of television. YouTube, iTunes, yeah. and why we decided to do this is the same thing because of the pandemic, people went through so much. So we decided that you know we're gonna interview artists, anybody that's been through anything at all, and they have a business right now. Yeah. So and we decided to interview them, yeah. you know, yeah. and and so much positivity has come out of it, and it yeah. it just needs to be said, and it needs yeah. to be put out there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We're just we're just here to build people up. Yeah. And, and say and we want here. we want good news yeah. but if everything is like negative news on people who are dying and stuff yeah. like that but behind the scenes people are doing things yeah exactly. you know Still exactly so forward. we want to highlight that yeah the, the positive people yeah to see yeah. how people survive I mean, it, it, it's, it's always good to do that you know it's always good to do that because somebody can listen to this interview or next interview or next individual and and feel confident feel you know feel like you know all is not lost for me yeah, not because it. i lost my brother not because i lost my son my daughter, you know, I'm alive, and God, God alone know why He took this away from me. For, for example, my brother died in 2014, right? He was a twin. My mom, my mom had a twin, right? He got chicken one the day and died the night. But God is so great. God gave me a twin. Yeah, my God. After he died, a couple months after, God gave me a twin. So oh, you, your kids. Is what you're saying. You have my, twins. My, yeah, I have twins. Oh. My, my mom had a twin, right? Yeah. And one died, and she was so stressed. And God yeah. gave me a twin after. Oh, I was wondering. Oh, yeah. Because I'm here saying, I know. So you had twins. <laughs> so that's, that's how great life is, you know. So sometimes God take away from you, and he left and he gave you back. You back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean that's, yeah. that's why he said if he gives to someone, he always replace the right. you with yeah. something. Yeah. Or, yeah. Something. Because in, in, in the music, for example, I mean, real touch chief in the music. I went to England, got messed up by promoters and been through stuff, you know, I was hungry in England. I my experience, yeah? Like hungry times I didn't have nothing. And people you know, that, that's, people that's don't way back. understand how like you know? when you travel they, they, they tend to think that it's it's super easy yeah. and you have on these fancy clothes and everything, but they don't they understand don't the hardship you go through yeah. before you get to where, where you, you get yeah. to True. you know what I mean? I I've, I've been through that I used to walk like from St. George to St. David to the studio. From St. David to St. Take a bus, go down, I can't get no bus to go back home. Hmm. And walk back up all this distance, you know what I mean? And same thing when I go to shows, I saw the same problem. I still keep going. Sometimes my last little money, I just go and spend it in music. I say I have to make it, you know. I don't work with nobody, you know. Stop working with everybody, you know. I say I'm going for that goal, you know. You know what I mean? I just keep 
fighting, fighting. So now I think I think we rather one fish. So you don't gotta think another spray, just keep praying and say, God, you know better. You know? Yeah. To do the same thing when I went to England I had I was I, I've been treated in a in a kind of way, man. I took you know, I fought, I fought, I fought, you know, I say I can't go back home with nothing like this. So you went right in there and, and that's yeah, what happened. And I got messed up, yeah. But I give God thanks for the opportunity still, you know. And I told them, I said, yo, I'm gonna get a big one. And the same song that I sing the night when the people were saying we want more and they didn't call me back on the stage, the same tombstone come again huge. And they couldn't even yeah, call me back again because was... they was feeling so bad. They tried to get all the team members to reach out to me and I tell them I wouldn't work with them no more. Because after, after what you all did to me, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that same song come out that come and win a job song of the year in 2018. I, I win 2019, I win international soccer. While Keller Water was going up again, Voice and Blacks, all of them. Yeah, I remember. And that. I ended up winning that again, you know. And, and I, I, he's in movies, he's in a film again, too. And you just keep going, you know. Wow. And when I sing that song, you know, it's like it's brand new, you know. From coming to this, coming up from the studio, and I was telling a guy, I said, Yo, man, actually, many of us have no conversation in last time. You see, Mandela, you know, I remember you, like, when you told me, you don't know why you go do all your kids come and with your children go born just now, you know, twin and stuff. And you know, your groups, you don't have money and thing, you know. He was reminding me of that, you know. So he said, boy, when I went to my prayer for you, you know, and you know, he told me that. And I was like, yeah, boy, he said, I pray for you, you know. He said, and look how God bless you. I said, I said when I left the studio today, God, like, I, I don't talk to God, you know. And pray. you don't know who is right. doing what for you. Like, exactly. You know? mm -hmm. Then I imagine God just to pray, man, and ask me for it, and I just did that. And everything just unfold, you know. I mean, I just get to travel the world, you know. See me in Spain, see me in France, see me there, see me all over. And the same man that I've seen here, humble, cool, Associate with the people, show them love, not glamorous. You see me, I don't even have a jewelry in my neck. You see what I have in my neck? This my little brother give me is a Scorpio. My mom got five Scorpio. Five Scorpio kids, yeah. <laughs> so my little brother put that in my neck, but I don't wear no jewelry and stuff. Yeah. Ring, I have a ring here, but I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I just move natural, you know. Material things is nothing to me. Mm -hmm. The only thing that separates us on this earth is life and death. Right. So it, yeah. seems, it seems like through life, I mean, I'm just gonna ask one question because I know Julian have a bunch of questions to ask. Yes. But I know through life, people, because of your experience, right? When you look back, even though you live in your life now and every experience you get, you learn from that. Yes. But when you look back, what would you have told, like your younger self, what would your younger self tell you now? Or your older self tell your younger, younger self, self now yeah. as you, you know? Yeah. But, what I would have said is, Manila, don't give up. Just keep going with the tide, roll with the tide, because Remember, I'm, I'm, God put me into this world, you know, regardless of what I want to be, there will always be hurdles and portals in my life. And everybody has life, you know. Mm -hmm. We meet things in life that we don't expect. Otherwise, we would have just say, you know what, I wanted to go this way if he was in charge. We just, everything would just go the way we want it. Exactly. But we don't know how our life will be, no matter yeah. what, or no matter how perfect we want our life to be. You understand? So I would have just said to myself, man, let us keep on going. Don't give up. Keep on going. I would have done all of this over again. Yeah. yeah. But if you Everything. if you get spoon fed, you're not gonna know not, what to do because yeah. you you know I mean it's like your parents raising you and you don't know how to cook, you don't exactly. know how to clean and everything. And then you when you come start. here, you don't know what to do. Ooh, exactly yeah, because yeah. I, I, I grew up I used to have to go like travel like from if you know Grenada. Yeah. From Guab to like um Grand Y, like all this far distance hmm. to go and get um um, coconuts in the morning, we had to get the coconuts. We saw the brick it and grate it so my grandmother could make oil, you know. Then weekends, we had to go and pick up the nutmeg, break the cocoa way down the bush. I went out to pick up the nutmeg, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> when the rain fall, you know, and the maize rotting you know, off. But, but when you smell yeah, that now, like, like when you go to the beach, you know, in Trinidad, yeah. when you're going to the beach and you smell the cocoa pods, you don't smell yeah, anything you don't here. Smell yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you don't smell yeah. anything here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, this, this, is a, this is a real yeah. good thing for the youth. Of yeah. in America and all these yeah. westernized countries. Listen to all the things that he yeah. had to do. Yeah. I got chores for the kids when I go home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, I had it real hard. I saw to do it every weekend. I can't even go to go and enjoy myself, just work. And the neighbor was living on top. And the cocoa shawl and stuff used to come down. So my grandma used to make us sweep like from go all up over to the school of course they come down, sweep down all the neighbors try. She said, because it's coming down in my place. Uh -huh. So we had to sweep it up. And we don't sweep it down, we burn it. We had to pick up all the mud and throw it behind the bank. You know? Wow. We used to have it hard, clean down the stairs, clean the bathroom, wash the ways, mop. You don't look like who is boy and who is girl. Yeah. You had to work same and job. you had to work, just work. Wash mm. the clothes in the river, bring Serious down the rug, jug water. Mm. Like hard <laughs> life. Speak when you are spoken to, answer when you are called. You know, wow. if if someone if my grandma and somebody's not talking, I have to tell them good morning or good afternoon. Mm -hmm. If I do something wrong in school, 
And my teacher beat me in school. When I reach home, she makes sure she call mom. And I reach home, my mom beat me again. And then one time, my mom call her, say, make sure you give him a lick today so you can remember what I do yesterday. <laughs> You know? But do you do you ever think that the mannerisms that we're raising the Caribbean somehow keeps up keeps us back a bit when somebody's being forceful on you? You know, like how you said you went to England and, and yeah. people did you certain things, right? Do you think your mannerism kept you back instead of you fighting and being like, you know what, yes. I'm not gonna do this? Exactly. And that type of stuff. Exactly. Perfectly said. That part that part of be because of how I grew up from my grandma and my mom and them, you know what it taught me? It made me realize like Man, like instead of you, you're getting aggressive with people, are you know, are, are retaliating every time. Just come from one to ten. Mm. By the time you reach to ten, you don't say, "I don't, I will forget." Yeah, was, he's going to fall on his own weight. She's going to fall on her own weight. You know, yeah. you know, mm. yeah. Even though sometimes people make you get mad. You know, I, me, I love to say sorry. We are. I love We're to always saying sorry. I love to. <laughs> I love to apologize. I've yeah. grown that way. Yeah. Even though, even though, I, I'm, I'm the right one. I will still come back in the ending and say what? I'm sorry. You know? Because sometimes you just have to take it. You just have to learn to even though you're you're you're, you're right, you know, learn to just fit yourself in that box sometimes in order so that at the end of the day you're not the one feeling um um or neglected or you're not the one feeling guilty. Like animosity yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. It's good that to to um, that people could express themselves, you know, in, in different ways, whether Musically, whether by art, you know, different form of culture, you know. Yeah. You see, it, 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 it's helped release the tension in the individual. That's one thing that I've learned, you know. Especially, because, especially if you're doing something that you love. Yeah. Something, you know, oh, okay. yeah, if, you, if you're releasing it that way, yeah. I mean, talking from experience, then I feel fulfilled. Yeah. You know? True. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because if I if I don't get to do music, I feel this tension like I wanna explode like that. Ballon you just keep blowing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's the only thing that you see yourself doing. That's music. The only so thing. I would just if somebody say that, said you could not do music right now, what would the other thing be? I wanna be a counselor. What type of counselor? Counselor, like speaking to people oh, okay. about their life, their style and stuff. Yeah. Uh? A doctor. I just was telling my wife I just want to be a doctor since I was a kid. Yeah. So I ain't think it's too late. I'm gonna keep still give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to take. I like yeah. to take care of people. I like to help people. You heard it first on yeah. table talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doctor. Yeah. I like. I like to help people. You know, that's that image joy. Help you know that that image joy. You know, that, that's why I asked for the music for. You know, the kid. I say, God, I'm going to the ask. I say, God, can I have the music? So I can help people. He gave me that. That's why I always try to help people. Right. I said, I wanted a twin. And you got wow. it. Wow. And, and I said, I said, I wanted a, a, a lady that don't wear makeup and nails and all of that. And he gave me that. And he gave me that. When my mom, I mean, she was already pregnant. Yeah. But when my mom was having kids, I had two sisters. Yeah. And they were like, oh, over my hair. I'm like, oh my God, girls, I'm tired. <laughs> And I prayed for my mom to have a son. She had a son. She had a son. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was so happy. I'm like, oh, yeah. God. Now that I don't like, and I, but I have my own girl child. I know, I know. You know. But yeah, boy, it, it, it's good that 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 you, you can say that because I mean that shows a, a form of once you believe in yourself or you believe in something, you'll get it. Yeah. You will get it. God will give it. You know? yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so, so I have a question. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, <laughs> we're at Prospect Park, the beautiful Prospect Park, and we can show you around. <laughs> How do I feel? It's beautiful. Yeah, so we have the beautiful scenic prospect park, and we're here with Mandan Loomings. Um, we took a little break because we wanted to come and see around and show him the scenes and his friend, who's out of the shot right now, who we're gonna interview as well, um, is gonna bring him back at some point in time, right? <laughs> but before we do that, I just want to ask one question. If you know a youth who's coming up and he wants to sing, what would be your biggest advice for that friend? Because you already know the struggles that he's going to come across, right? You already know you've been there. You've seen there's times I'm sure that you're really frustrated and thought, let me walk away from this, but you didn't. What is something that you would say to that youth to 
to give him some encouragement if he needs to be heard. Yeah, well, um, first thing that I actually feel like not everybody says the paranormal on an everyday basis, right? Because um, um, never give up, right? No? The only person that can stop you in life is yourself. The only person that can break you down in life is yourself. It's only you to stop you from making it. It's only you to stop you from going on in life, you know? I'll get to that extra money. And, and life is like a stage. Just imagine, just put yourself in this situation, you know what I mean? I, I, I always tell you that. Yeah, life, is like stage. A, life is like a stage. Not only that, it's like, mm -hmm. besides the stage is part, it's like, like a stage, like a literal stage. Okay. We, and we are the actors. Right. Okay. We are the actors. Just imagine that big girl in front of you. You, you give you in a comedy show. You tell you, you, are, you, are you giving a speech? You know, you speak, some people may laugh, some may not. Eh? And sometimes you think that, because they didn't, because you're in a comedy show, or whatsoever, are you, are you, are you you're giving them a, 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 a speech? Because you find they didn't respond, everybody was quiet. Does not mean that they didn't take in everything that you said. You understand? So not because you're doing the music and it's like people not paying attention to you, or, or it seems like they're not paying attention to you. That does not mean that they are not listening. You know? So you just keep on rallying, keep on going, keep on pedaling that canoe. You know? And you keep paddling that canoe. Actually, sorry, paddle. And you will actually make it some, you know. Don't give up. No one is perfect. We all make mistakes and you have to take advice from people. You have, you gotta take constructive criticism, you know. And people will hate you along the way. Even though someone tells you something bad and you think you hurt your feeling, go home and sit down. Look yourself in the mirror and say what? There is only one reason why that person could tell me something. That is maybe because I'm actually doing something bad or Maybe they came to tell me that so that I can say, you know what? You would not break my confidence. Mm. I can do this. So let me ask you something, right? Because some people would be like, Nick, you know, you can't be this positive and you can't always be smiling. You must have some downtime. So was there ever a time that you weren't this wise? Yeah. And always like, you know what? This and that and that. Like, was there ever a time, you know, yeah. things would make you angry yeah. other than how you are now? Oh yes, there was a time when I was young, I, was, I, was, I used to be angry a lot. <laughs> I mean, I came a long way, I used to be angry. I had a bad temper, like a mm -hmm. bad temper. You know, as I said, the other people kind of pull me calm together, down. calm me down. Okay. And, 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 and man, sometimes I feel like people couldn't talk to me, but what I've learned, I could tell you that on my journey of, in life, you know. Times people used to tell me stuff, and I would get angry, but when I, as, as growing older, I used to go sit down for myself and just actually think back about everything they tell me. So if, if, if you're talking to me, like you're speaking to me, having a conversation, and, and sometimes I like, I like, I don't want to listen, to wait, wait to listen, but like it's like I want to argue with you, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Then, when I go, sometimes you say, you don't listen, you don't listen, but I listen like what? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I go home, I'm sitting down and I'm thinking about everything that they tell me, and I just take in all, I just take it in and I just laugh. So when you see me next time, you might be like, hey, man, love boy, you real change. Yeah. And I stand in the back of the mic, my back of my mic, I say, yeah. You yeah. didn't know it was you that caused that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there was times like that. There was times that, that I used to be angry, you know, and, and feel like people could not tell me anything, mm. but he was not getting me anywhere. What makes me get to where I am now is listening to people, listening to constructive criticism, taking the, the negative, what people have told me, and, and turn it into something positive. positive. Yeah. Well, well, I do know that you have brought your friend along, and you brought him along to actually present him also to the viewers. Yeah. So before we present him, at least tell us something about him. Like, what made you say, I'm gonna help this one? Well, actually, I mean, I'm an I'm a, I'm a ambassador. I'm a cultural ambassador, right? Oh, my for Grenier, for Grenier, okay. right? Okay. But um, normally we're supposed to work with young artists. I actually try to help a lot of young artists. I try to help everybody. All artists, whether big or small, I push the music, try to help them. But this artist in particular, which we all uh, he'll come, come on soon, Squeaky the, the artist, right? Squeaky D. He just have this energetic, good spirit, you know? The energy from him is just pure and it's just like, he's thirsting, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's like in the middle of the desert and music is the only thing to save him. Just like how you were. Yeah, just yeah. like how I, how I were, you know. He's he, he's 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 adrenaline is always pumping, you know. He's always like I could do it, 
I could do it. He has so much confidence in himself that I just had to say, yo, man, I don't want to hear boasting too much. I say, he's got confidence, you know, but don't boast like that, you know. Yeah. But I know he don't mean anything bad by, by boosting up himself. You have to have confidence. You have to speak yeah. words of power. Yeah. You know what I mean? And once you speak words of power, everything will fall into place. You'll come into reality. And he he never gave up. His, he, I mean, see, I came up here. He lives in America, eh? Oh, okay. He comes to he, came. he came, come down to Grenada to take part in competition. Buy his ticket to come down to Grenada to take part in competition. He buy his ticket to come down to, 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 to be in Grenada, to be a part of it. You know? He, he, he always, he don't care what money he had to spend to be there. He will do it to be there. You know what I mean? And that's me. Yeah. When I was growing up, that's me staying hungry for music. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Until, and, and because at the end of the day, the music is like a child. You make your kids, you don't expect your kids to mind you. You take care of your kids, you, you give them a good future and nurture them and someday eventually even though you don't expect them to take care of you if you yeah. fall short your kids will take care of you sure. music is just like that yeah. you understand I give, Boogie B is one of the guys that told me that one year and, and big much bigger Boogie B is that he's a Trini but he's a, he, he lives in Grenada he's growing in Grenada he's a Grenada artist mm -hmm. right he's singing some clearly smoke the place on fire I must be game up because he was one of the person that put that in my head yeah. and, and I, I never even thought about it that way and, and the year after he told me that I think that I'm so I must, I must give you his credit. I can't think of whether you say, whether I say that or don't say, you still doesn't take away the fact that he gave me that positive vibe, you know? Yeah. Exactly. And Squeaky D, the artist, he have that adrenaline, that fiery, fiery vibe. When you, <laughs> like, I'm never, to be honest, I have a lot of artists for And this is the first time, this is the first time I feel that pure, Clean, energy. sweet energy for man. But, yeah, yeah. but the thing is, they always say certain energy <laughs> attract certain attract energy. Attract. Yeah. Or yeah. your yeah. tribe attract your tribe or something yeah. like that. True. You know? But at the end of the show, when we come down to the ending, we're going to do, well, since we're outside in the, you know, in the fresh air and the park and stuff like that, we can't play music. Yeah. All we can have him do is sing for us, which is, is nice. It's just the same as yeah, yeah. playing exactly. his music. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to have a, a mixed. Um, a mixed list of your, your music and play it at the end of, of the show. You know? It's all good. All right. So we'd like to bring Squeaky without D. Without further ado. Yes, yeah, without further ado. ado. Yeah. We'd like to bring, gonna bring Squeaky and D. And where are we going to fit? Where are we going to fit? Hold on, hold on. I, I think I got to do the jump again. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. My brother. <laughs> Yeah, I'm blessing. So blessing. welcome to Table Talk. Welcome. welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank Gigi. you for having me. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> and so your your name, you said your name is Squeaky D. How do you spell that so people know? S Q U E E K Y and D. Okay, and how did you come up with that name? I mean the name being there from since a child. Everybody used to call me Squeaky from Grenada. So when I got into music, I decided okay. I already know that name, yeah. so I'm gonna use that name and just continue. So, I mean, were you, were you someone who, because of your voice, was squeaky? Or are you, are you embarrassed to say <laughs> no. what it is? Something squeaky. Because something has something to be has has to squeak. <laughs> it, was, it was because of the looks, it was because of the looks, you know. Squeaky Yeah, so because of the looks back then, they okay. used to, you know, so <laughs> the it. name came from the looks. Got know? it, got it, got it. So, I guess it. He got this squeaky look. Squeaky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like more like a mice look, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know yeah. 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 So the yeah. D is what? That's your first name? No, we just add the D, like squeaky D. Okay, got it. And then I'm an artist, and squeaky Dan. Oh, okay. So squeaky Dan. Right. Yeah, Makes squeaky sense. Dan, squeaky Dan. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he's going to be on some of the shows that you're going to be doing? Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, you've been on a couple already with me, you know, we've been yeah. on a few, yeah. We've been on Iowa on the last time we were with me, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We sang a new song we have coming there, and we closed, like, they didn't force them to hear it, but they want to sing it to the visors. Oh, my God, it was good. Good vibes. Yeah. Wow. Good. So, could you just give us a brief, brief summary of, you know, how you became, you know, where did you find the love for the, the music, and what brought you to this part in, like, a minute? I believe if you can. I believe growing up, mm -hmm. because growing up I was always around the music. Like mm -hmm. men's like Boyzies, when it's Park and the oh, so also I grew up with them. Okay. So I was always around the music. I didn't have family in the music, just the friends that I've known. 
So I always wanted to be an artist. Okay. And then 2018, it just struck me that I just did my first song. All right, so let me see. Did anybody, right? Because I, I love music. But I was I was in the days when you do your cassettes and you put your music in there and you yeah. try to record it. <laughs> and you know, that's how much I love music. And writing, I always wrote every single song. So I knew all of them, from Bob Marley to Michael Jackson and all that stuff. So what's some of the things that you did besides singing? Like, are you a type of person that writes your songs down or you I write, I write, you write your songs down? I write my songs down. Yeah. Strictly soca or writing? Yeah, I do strictly soca. Oh, okay. Soca, nice. I mean, I try to mix it in. Mm -hmm. I try to mix it in. I do power groove. Mm -hmm. right. But you're going to have a time that you got to go above that. Yeah. You know, you don't want to just stick to power and groove. Yeah. You're going to go above that. Is there any advice that you would give to upcoming artists? Being that you are an upcoming artist, and how many years have you been in this? Is it you're now starting off? Two and a half. Years. Two and a half years. Wow. So the advice I'll give to an upcoming artist, never give up. And keep pushing. Because you never know where you will be one. And always focus on that person that always looking out for you. That person you look up to that encouraging you and pushing you further. Because I got encouragement from my teacher, which is um when I saw he do it, I was like, that's it for me, I gotta go. That's it, I gotta do it. Yeah. Which is Jude Judena. He do the song I'm a class with. Oh yeah, yeah, he yeah. He actually teach me US history. Mm. And he used to put the US history things into songs in a flash drive and give it to me. And yeah. Oh nice. So nice. I actually got the inspiration from there. So I'll definitely say keep looking at that person yeah. that always encouraging you to do what you want. Yeah. And Mandela? <laughs> Yeah. Oh well, actually, because we asked you that question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well um, I, mean, I understand, but um, as we can say, just keep pushing, keep going on, and I mean, music is life. Music is love. You know, music should keep you warm and hot. You know, help you to show love and support, and it should be it should it should be meaningful to you. You know, you don't listen to any kind of music. And I I totally don't sing violent music. No about guns and knife and all that stuff. I don't think about that stuff. I don't want my child to pick up a man and kill nobody. I don't want nobody to kill me. Yeah. So I'm a kid. So I don't do violent music. Yeah. I don't listen to them. They don't play in my house. The children can't play it. Yeah. They can't listen to it. As long as I live. Even when I get big man. So that, <laughs> and that's what I preach to my kids too. It's like, yeah. I don't want to hear it. I don't want you, because my son is older. And yeah. I don't want your sister to hear it. Once you're in the house, it's like none of that. Yeah. You know, so they have a respect for you. Yeah. Well, you know? But um, one last question I have for you. Um, your kids, because you talk about your kids and stuff like that. Is anyone showing an inkling to what you do? Yeah. All of them doing They're the same thing? My, yeah. my big daughter is 10 years. She have a song. I ain't really that yet. My twins released their first song at four years old. They're oh, five now. Oh. The, the last one born the same night as I spoke I'm going in Trinidad when I was in Trinidad. You know, in 2019, wow. the he, he born on that day. The, 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 the last boy, and he, she's singing all my song songs already. Crying oh, for music. Balling for music. Oh, daddy, daddy, look, daddy, daddy, you singing that? Like, yes. He yes. loves yes. music, he loves music. You know, he like the same song, Rise, he like that. Yeah. I hear he cries that they get to actually, in the start of the song, Get Up Cry, they have a baby crying, that's it. Oh, really? I put his voice in it. And my kids, I put on my videos. Like, my richness is life. I have my foster kids in that video, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, so before we tune out, we definitely want uh, you as the viewers to know exactly where we can find them and where they can find you on Instagram, Facebook. Please tell them each of you where, where can we, the viewers find you? Well, actually, you can get me on Instagram, Mandela underscore links. Mandela with two L. M A N D E double L A underscore links with L I N K Z. Not S. L I N K Z. Oh, Z. Z. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should get yeah. Z. I know we do it Either one, either one. L I N K Z. So Manila with two L and links with L I N K Z. Yeah. Z. Right? You can get me on Facebook and my fan page team thing. Mandela on the school links. And my number is on social media. I don't hide it because so I, it's, it's all there to the world. If people want to talk, I'm always available, you know. You can WhatsApp me 1473 420 4268. I know I'm the only artist that literally do that, but wow. it's good for me because 
We told the fans there is no man in no me. So one four seven three four two zero four two six eight. Hit me up anytime. Only if you're serious, though. Yes, yeah. you have okay. to be serious, okay? okay. Yeah. All right. And Squeaky D, what's your name? You can find me on Instagram at Squeaky underscore D artist. On Facebook, Squeaky D artist. Spells S Q U E E K Y underscore D underscore artist. Also, link my fan page, Squeaky Music. You get a free t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and could you take us, because I know you said both of you perform. You have a song that you yeah. wrote together. Yeah. So could you just take us out with that song? Well, okay. uh, a, a portion, just the, the first chorus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, the first line, line. whichever okay. one you want. Okay, how are we going to start? You ready? One, two. People, 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 where are your powder? Jab me. People, where are your water? Wet me. People, where, where are your water? Jab me. People. We close the sport. No, no, everybody. Dash powder, dash water, dash powder, dash water. Anyway, you know that we come to play the mask. We, we bong for it. it. All life cover, we body. Like, like we go jump the net. What a fuck up the place. What a plate in here. Then when it's time that we reach, fret turn up again. People, where, where are your powder? powder? Have me. <laughs> hey, yes. Yes, yes, yes. You all heard it here on yes, Table yes, Talk, yes. Table Talk, yes. Table Talk. And it'll be out on Friday. This Friday. Okay, and also, I just want you all to know you all can find me because I'm on tour now. I'm out here in the US. I'm pumping the good vibes, you know. So, I'm going to let you all know all where I will be, you know what I mean? So, just imagine that's the crowd here, you know, it's a mass pick up. Like, give me a jump, give me a jump, give me a jump, give me a jump. Hey. It's a real mass pick up. Listen here, this weekend, <laughs> we're going DMV. Next weekend, I'll be in um, Texas. Texas. The weekend after that, I'll be in Philly. Philly, oh, Philadelphia. So, it's like, just on and on and on and back to New York. You know, down to back to Miami, Orlando, Florida. I'll just keep pumping the good music and good vibes. So people just go on my fan page, you're gonna actually see my my um my dates, you know, for my tour. Check it out and come get your tickets and have fun. Have fun. Bring your friends, bring your family. I will be here. Hey. I'm coming to play the bus. Table talk show with Nikki G and Juliet. Nikki G and Juliet. Good morning, good morning, oh yeah. Ah. Into the world, so I'm looking for some better bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uplift the ghetto youth and get them extra strength. Shovel is real. Man, man, to survive. Shard on loose. 615. I feel so blessed today. I don't want to live like yesterday. So please don't stop my fight. Tell it I'm going to make it right. Table talk, table talk. I just want to dash my stress away. So even when the pressure goes by, yeah, we have to live and unite. All right then, good morning world, how you doing? Yesterday was the past we've been through it. Links today is a new day. To share some positive message to the youth, let's do it. Don't you get down, don't let them get you down. Hold your head up, just, just say yeah, 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 yeah. Got the secret of getting a end. Keep part of your life and dream big. Good thing comes to those who wait, but great things come to those who go for it. Set the foundation for yourself and don't let no one break it. I feel so blessed today. I don't wanna live like yesterday. So please don't stop my fight. Today I'm gonna make it right. I feel so blessed today. I just wanna dance my best today. Can you hear the voice of the people? Can you hear how some of them cry? Tell me why you want it so evil And so much I innocent have to die But all that cannot be some of us cannot take it All the politicians fake it And all of them doing the same thing So everybody free up I may give you not to give up Put your hand in the air No, it's not the time to give up We drinking water and we drinking sugar And it's me and the rock All we need is a change
Session. Now in session. 